New tonight as well, an independence man sentenced to 20 years for what prosecutors are calling a horrific child pornography collection. Police say investigators also found other videos which showed violence committed against adults and animals. Courtney King is live in Covington with this story you will see only right here on Fox 19 now. Yeah, Trisha and Rob, we do want to warn our viewers right away that some of the details in the story are very disturbing. And we're live here in front of the Kenton County Courthouse because this is where Joshua Caldwell was sentenced to the maximum he could receive on Monday. Prosecutors tell us these are some of the worst images they've dealt with. The only thing worse than seeing child pornography is hearing it. On Monday, this man, 41-year-old Joshua Caldwell, was sentenced to 20 years after pleading guilty to several child pornography charges. The judge said when she sentenced him, this is so horrific, there's no option but to give him the maximum sentence. Emily Arnzen is an assistant Commonwealth's attorney. She prosecuted the case. This case started as a cyber tip line report from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Arnzen says Caldwell got caught after uploading two videos to a Google Photos account. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children then called Kenton County Police. Investigators traced the IP address to Caldwell's home and found more images. There were hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, images and videos of child pornography in the Google Photos account. Arnzen says they don't know how Caldwell got the images, but says many of the videos were extremely violent and of young children. The videos that he was collecting were just horrific. Um, they stick with you. Arnzen says his collection also included bestiality. And there were depictions of adults being physically injured and videos of animals being physically injured. And so all of that just really added a whole nother layer of violence to what he was doing. Right now, Caldwell is in the Kenton County Detention Center and Prosecutor Arzen says that they have no indication that he's ever touched any children or made any of that pornography. But we're live in Covington. Courtney King, Fox 19 Now. Results are in.